I am here in my bathroom, which is unusual for this channel, but what I have to do is take out this old pedestal sink, which was with the house when I bought it. Not in this room, of course, this is a new bathroom. But I put this in here temporarily, <laughs> five years ago. <laughs> and uh, it's been the bathroom sink ever since. Um, I'm getting ready to put in the vanity cabinet that actually goes here that I just finished building the carcass for. And I need to get this out. I need to change the pipes here to accommodate that thing. And while I'm doing that, I thought I would talk to the camera for a little bit, in particular about why I've decided not to build or finish building the Westeros table. All right, first thing to do is to turn off the water, and I think I've got that, and that's good. I must well leave those open. And I think I can unscrew this with my fingers. Or maybe not. I'll have to get a wrench, but. Uh, the Westeros table, spiderweb, or uh, cobweb. Um, why am I not building it? Well, why am I not finishing it? I started it three years ago, and at that time, I don't know, I was really into the show. Not that I'm not into the show anymore, it's just I was really into the show. I kind of thought that that would be a neat project to do, and I still think it's a neat project to do and to finish, but I don't have anywhere to put it. I thought that I would be able to build it, and at that time I was thinking that I would get my basement finished, as in completely finished, but my priorities changed, and I decided not to finish my basement at the time. So that left me with what I was going to do with this table if I ever did finish it. Since the only real appropriate place for it to be would be in the kind of basement home theater idea that I had, maybe kind of rec room type thing. And I'm not even sure if I'm actually going to go that way now, so I've decided not to build it. So that's the biggest reason, I guess you could say. And i got to be honest that about three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago, I started to build the base for it. And I had a really interesting idea for that. But what happened when I was building the base is that I got another idea for what I could do with that. And I changed to that instead. Now, that is an upcoming project. And it's actually one of the, it is actually the longest project I've ever it, the longest time I've ever put into a project to bring it from start to finish. I mean, like I say, I started work on it um, at least three weeks ago, and it's still not done. So, it's a month in the making. But I think it's going to be interesting. I like the idea anyway. I'm sure there will be people that don't like it, but that's the case for everything. I'm sure there will be people that say, well, you should have. Because I, I've kind of also filmed along with it a kind of a behind the scenes thing where I'm doing it and I'm talking about it. That will likely be put on this channel. I hate it when there's no room here to get the wrench in. And I don't have one of those special wrenches because I'm not one of these guys that has a special thing for every little situation. Where was I? Yeah, so, like I say, I started doing that and then I changed my mind, which happens, and then the other thing is, uh, before I even got started on that, I went to look for the footage that I originally took for the original videos because I 
kind of did that so that I could put it in the finished video even though the footage is not great or it wasn't great it would still be usable and I couldn't find it I don't know what I do with it and then the only way that I could possibly get that footage and it'd be a poor substitute for it is to download the videos from YouTube and they'd be really compressed so it would be quite a difference in the quality from what you'd be seeing from me now as opposed to what I was doing back then. Whereas, I mean, I could clean up the older footage if I had still had the raw stock. I could clean it up enough that it would match a little bit better. I don't know why I'm trying to take the faucet out of this bowl because I really don't need to. What I need to do now is disconnect the drain pipe. All right, the drain pipe is just put on with a couple of hose clamps because it's kind of a uh, Mickey Mouse arrangement that was happening with the old sink. And I didn't want to go to the expense of changing anything out at the time because like I said, it was temporary. <laughs> It's a temporary five-year deal. I think there are a couple of screws in the wall there too, bolted on. I'm gonna do it old school with the screwdriver here. Undo those screws. While I talk a little bit more about the Westeros table. So I still have the table itself. I still have the piece of MDF I was gonna use as a backer for it. But I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll be motivated to do it, but I, I don't see it happening. First of all, it's the idea of the whole thing. It's really a d dust collector. You know, I get people commenting on my <laughs> Skyline diffuser that it's a dust collector. Well, this would be even worse because it'd be a completely flat area. And, uh, I thought about filling up the shoreline and all that with epoxy, but then you're talking about an expensive thing. And the original videos didn't do well. I mean, there were, there, there were people that really got into it, and I've gotten quite a few emails about it, why I'm not, you know, why I haven't finished it yet. But it's just not a popular thing. Uh, so, I can't justify the expense but this should just lift off and it does this grungy goddamn thing and then this thing was just sitting there and you can see what I had here well I didn't have it this is the old arrangement right here this would unscrew and this will just pull out and then there's water in the trap of course which I shall drain. Well, there's some nasty stuff in there as well. I hate... Okay, this is good. I love it when, when you release the plug for the trap and the water does not drain. That means there's something icky plugging it and I'm going to have to stick my finger in there. Uh-oh, it's just the gasket maybe. No, the gas is released and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, This is terrible. This is nasty. Anyway, all the water's out. I need to wash my hands already. Okay, I've taken out the old sink and the pedestal, washed my hands and I've mopped up as much of the water was down there. And uh, I'm gonna disassemble this trap. A little bit further. Wow, there's like sand in there from me washing the, <laughs> washing the cloth I was using for when I was doing the, uh, stuff in the bathroom. Anyway, the idea here is to, I've got new pipes, 
into is to where is that 90? Wow, I don't have to. I've all, all I got is the street 90. Maybe that's enough. Anyways, just tuck this um, trap in as close to the wall as I possibly can so that I'll be able to have enough clearance for larger drawers because this cabinet that I'm going to be putting here just has drawers in it. It doesn't have doors on there for, you know, storage underneath. So you'll, you know, if you need to get in here and turn off the water or whatever, you have to take the drawers out, which is not a big deal. But it maximizes the amount of space in there. I built a vanity like that before in another house I was living in, and it was the best thing ever having those drawers. You put towels down there, toilet paper, whatever, and you know, it's good. So I gotta cut that off, pipe off there, and uh, I think I gotta take these things off as well because the the faucet I have has these things already attached. Anyway, yeah, so the Westeros table thing, I may do it, I may get back to it. I'm, I'm not going to throw the thing away. I may, because you never say never. I never say never. I've said never in the past and have always had it come back, not to bite me, but... You know, I went back on it, I guess you could say. I could do this a lot easier with the impact driver, but it involves getting up off my knees. It's going to be quite a difference here in this bathroom with an actual real vanity and a sink that's actually worth standing at in here. Uh, I just posted the video for building the carcass of the vanity this morning and uh, not unexpected quite a number of comments from people on the use of particle board for the construction of the side panels and the toe kick and the stretchers and I don't know it's it's uh, it's really it really says something about how, I don't know, how little people actually know about how this stuff is, is done in the real world. When they talk about that. I mean, particle board, veneer particle board is like the standard material for building cabinets of this sort at least here in North America. I don't know about the rest of the world, but it certainly is here. I know I've installed enough of them. I spent more than a year uh, doing just cabinet installations and every single one of them were particle board core plywood or melamine, which is the same thing. And that was the other thing, the distinction between <laughs> the distinction between plywood and particle board. Everyone that works uh, with materials like that call it uh, plywood. They don't call it particle board core uh, sheet goods. They call it plywood. Everybody does. That's everybody that does that kind of thing for a living or is involved in it. And if you don't start off saying it like that, then you're sure to get corrected by the guys that have been doing it forever. It's plywood, you fucking goof. Okay, I was out and I did some, took some measurements from the thing, and I determined that the top of the pipe, the plastic pipe, that the down tube would fit into, the maximum is here. And this is the center line of where it needs to be, like centered on the wall here. And then it would be eight inches out as well. So my trap can be down here like this, say. And then I've got a couple of 45s that will take or divert that pipe down to it. So the first step is to get the 
trap itself mounted to the pipe and then I can go from there. I think I think that's going to be low enough. I mean I've got room to go down even further if I want to but I think I can get up there from here like that. Maybe. I'll see. Okay I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to do it awkwardly because I'm trying to show it on the camera. I don't have to be this precise about pushing everything in tight to the wall, but I'd like to be. I'd like to make the drawers as big as they possibly can. The one up on top here will actually be a U-shape to fit around that pipe. One of the One of the problems with um, having drawers underneath here like that is that um, if anything leaks, it'll leak down into the drawer. But you know what? Uh, it doesn't matter what you put down here. If water leaks into it, it's going to be ruined anyway. So I got some of this nice stuff. I love it. Um, Probably get some comments on why the floor is not finished over here. Here in North America, we generally install cabinets like this permanently so they don't, you know, they're not removed. So there's no reason to put tiles in here. To be honest, if I had the choice, I would have finished the tiles in here, but I had that pedestal in the way, so it just wasn't practical. But if that wasn't there, I would have, I would have finished them just for the options that would have given me. I mean, you get the floating vanity, which is quite popular these days. I don't really like it, but mainly because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't give you the same storage options. But like I say, they are popular. Popularity goes a long way these days. Well, it always has, so. Okay, you can see what I'm doing here. This goes in here like that. And then a trap, Mr. Trap is over close to the wall. And then boom, boom, gets you up to where the uh, downpipe is. Yeah? Feel me? And if I need to adjust it, I can swing this out. But we'll see. I'm going to get this part glued in first, though. So, yeah, the particle board versus plywood. Um, to be honest, I like working with particle board more than I like working with plywood because, first of all, it it stays flatter than than plywood does. Even a really high quality um, plywood, veneer core plywood, doesn't stay as flat as particle board. The other thing is that it, it generally cuts a bit cleaner. The particle board is going to get a, uh, it's going to get covered anyway, so it really doesn't matter what the core material of the stuff that you're using is. I think what I need to do is I need to do a dry fit here and see. I need to get more pipe so I can arrange this before I glue anything in. Okay, I spent a little bit of time here messing around, and I think I think I have it. It's eight inches here, seventeen and three quarters inches there. So that looks good, and that still gives me enough space up here. Um, I made this uh, vanity taller than standard. I like the bathroom vanity top, the top of the sink actually, to be close to kitchen countertop height. And kitchen countertop height, the standard is 36 inches and in this case I made it 34, which I think is a lot more comfortable for adults, <laughs> I guess you could say, than um, the 30 inches, which is 
the usual height. So you get 34 as opposed to 30. It doesn't seem like a lot until you're standing at it actually. And I find it more comfortable. So anyway, this is looking good. I gotta glue this up. And uh, then I'll be done with this part of it. I'll be able to bring the cabinet in and get it in place, which is uh, quite a milestone, actually. And I'll be able to make a video about that part as well, which all of the know-it-alls will comment on. Well, why didn't you tile in the corner there, man? You cheap bastard, why didn't you tile in the corner? <clears throat> That's the particle board cabinet, right? Good luck with that, man. That'll ride out in a couple of years. I love it. Why are you putting glue on both parts? You only need to put glue on one part. Good for you putting glue on both parts. I watch people putting glue on one part only, and they're wrong. I put glue on both parts because that's the way I learned how to do it. From a man that um, I certainly wasn't a plumbing apprentice, that's for sure. But you got to be the type of person in this lifetime that if you're interested in this kind of stuff, you keep your eyes open when you're around the people that do this stuff for a living. Now, of course, like anything else, there are people that do this stuff for a living that don't know what the fuck they're doing. But for the most part, that's not the case. The guys that I've worked with that have been doing this for a living certainly do know their stuff. And that's a compliment that I don't give off and a compliment to plumbers. <laughs> Why did you wipe the glue on the floor in there? Look at the mess you made. <laughs> Why are you putting on too much glue, man? You only put on enough that you need. What the hell is wrong with you? Age, 17 and a half and three quarters if I push it over a little bit. You got some flexibility there, which is always a good thing. Hey, the real plumber, he had the torpedo level out and he'd have it sitting up on top of there to make sure that that's level. But I can tell just by looking at it that it's a level enough. So I don't think I have the piece that connects to the um, downpipe from the sink. So I may have to go get that. But I'm pretty sure I bought like 10 different sizes of that. So, I might have one. Anyway, that looks pretty good. What do you think? Looks great. John, you're doing a fantastic job. I got it. I have one. Amazing. It's the right size, too. Like I said, I bought a bunch of these because they come in different way, like too many different sizes. Or it should be just one standard size for your bathroom. And then it'd be a plumber's out there saying, yeah, there is, man. It's one and a quarter of the one you have. But you got ones that are the same for kitchen sink, single sink, double sink, so on and so forth. It's just... If you're not doing this shit all the time, you wind up buying way more than you need. I've got a box of fittings downstairs that I really should look through whenever I go to and am I too high there? A little bit a little bit high but I think I can get away with it. Like that 28 and a half wasn't absolutely the maximum. I can shorten this pipe. 
Actually, that's what I think I'll do. I'll make this pipe shorter. And to do that, I'll have to cut a shorter one. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up here because all I need to do is mount this on here and everything will be fine and dandy. Next step is to get the vanity itself in here, get it fitted, scribed to the wall, and then I can permanently install it and then drop the sink on top. Like I said in the video where I built the cabinet, the sink itself is the full size of the um, cabinet. I bought the sink whew, three years ago, maybe four years ago. The sink, the faucet, the drain, uh, I bought it along with the kitchen sink actually. And I've had that long before I put the kitchen sink in. So it's been sitting out in my basement <laughs> for the past four years, I guess you could say, while I did other things here. 